Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Speed and Strength SS 2500 hybrid style helmet available at RevZilla.com. First glance, you can look at this helmet and you could say, well, that's a dual sport helmet. And I would say, I challenge you. This is a hybrid helmet, meaning on or off-road, and in this lunatic fringe graphic, this plays right heads up with something like the Icon Hybrid, which is really a gnarly on-road supermoto, just a screaming design that's designed with a shield, with really that off-road style, but your peak is going to be designed to be able to be stable, even at high speed. Now, I will say there's a Helen Back series of graphics. The Helen, this is the Lunatic Fringe. The Helen Back SS 2500 is going to be a solid murdered out matte black, and you also have a high vis yellow and a high vis orange. So, if you really want something that feels a bit more dual sport, you got that option too. This is actually one of my favorite graphics that I think we've ever seen from Speed and Strength. So, really, what you're looking at here is a sub $200 hybrid style helmet, and I will tell you, intermediate oval head shape but it's going to have a tri-composite fiberglass shell. And that's actually one of my big selling points on this helmet. A lot of times, up into that $200 price point, you're only gonna see polycarbonate. Polycarbonate tends to be a bit more heavy, it's still strong, but then you get into that next generation, that mid-level premium helmet, you start to see tri-composite, fiberglass, different materials come in that are a little bit more lightweight, but still bring that strength to the table. Here we have tri-composite, sub $200, ECE rated, DOT rated, Honestly, I think that's a big selling point. We weighed this bad boy. This is a, uh, a large that I have in front of me, and you got a helmet that came in at three pounds, nine ounces, so just over that three and a half pound range, which is a nice touch. So you're looking lightweight, intermediate oval head shape, should fit everybody, and full featured. Now getting into it, again, stolen from the design of the dirt world, but really can be purposed either way. Some of the nuances here, we have this really cool finishing touch around the peak of the visor, where you have this matted out type of material that's kind of bolted or riveted on. One of the key features here as well is that we have this bevel along the face shield. A lot of times for road riding, people don't realize that a helmet set up like this, which is more of that dirt configuration with a shield, it's gonna flow more air, but more air means more noise. And a lot of times manufacturers have a harder time with a seal because of the different face shaped face shield. So what Speed and Strength has done is they've added this bevel, so you get a, an optically correct shield as best as you can be. Again, it's a different kind of shape, but now you're going to have this bevel, bevel so you get a better seal. Looking down to where on a dirt helmet you have more of an open area, now we have an open and closable vent, and that's operated by a switch that's on the inside, of the inside of the helmet here. So you can see right there, there's a switch moving with my hand that vents directly to the shield, directly to the mouth. Moving up on top, I like that they have these big cutaways. It allows for airflow, but it also allows easy access to your vents chimney vents, and then if we move to the back, you see more of these really cool rivets that kind of finish the design off. It's kind of one piece coming back that's molded, and we see our extractors back here as well. Another nice feature, we, is if, we have extractors down here along the side, and these are actually vented directly into the EPS. So you're gonna get some of that airflow that comes around your jawline, down across your temple artery, back across the backside or low on your head, and you're gonna be able to pull it back. Notice too that we have a light ridge here, that light ridge is so you can, if you are going to dual sport this helmet, you can add your goggle strap and it's, it's going to have an area to sit against so you can easily and quickly position it. Now I will say that there are always trade-offs. One of the trade-offs in making a more quiet shield design is they didn't leave a ton of clearance here along the side if you really want to do goggles with the visor over top of it. But in all honesty, a lot of guys that are that hardcore are really going that, down that, that dual sport rabbit hole and that's a little bit of a different conversation. So for those of you that just want some, something really gnarly that looks great on the street that's going to make a statement, I don't think you should worry that the goggle strap is not going to have a ton of clearance there. We're looking at these aluminum bolts here. You can remove the peak, you can replace the peak, you can remove the shield, you can use this helmet without any shield at all and just put the peak on and again, leave it in full dirt configuration. And if we start to break it down and move it underneath, let me get my donut out here. You have our speed strap system here from Speed and Strength. Notice our extra Velcro that allows you, especially if you're going to really rip on this helmet, you can make sure that you have full coverage so that speed straps, this aluminum, it's not going to be against your chin. It's going to keep you comfortable. Moving in, we have our cool core liner. Cheek pads don't have a neck roll built into them. And you have to keep in mind that a helmet like this, again, you're sacrificing functionality for quiet. It's just par for the course. Whether you're upright riding, road riding, or you're dual sporting it, again, it's meant to be more in line with the functionality versus the quiet factor, so you don't have that all-encompassing neck roll. So we have our cool core cheek pads that are removable, three-point connection system, no surprises there. It's not gonna be anything different than you'd expect from a rock-solid helmet. 
in that $200 range. Again, decently contoured, you're gonna feel it against your face. And then when we get to the liner system, I'm gonna pull up my comfort liner here. Notice they're continuing in the theme of what I love that I've seen from Speed and Strength. Velcro across the front, no pressure points on the forehead, 3D design comfort liner, and then you have two snaps in the back to keep it in place and you never feel these because it's an area of heavy padding. Turning it inside out, again, wicking, easily cleanable, run it, un run it under some water and allow it to air dry. And notice the big cutouts that are gonna get you further ventilation to your head. Moving to the inside here, we can see our big vent, vent channeling. See it starting at the chimney, moving up throughout the shell to our extractors in the back. Remember, when you're at speed, you have air that's flowing into the helmet. It's gonna circulate around your head. Your head obviously is gonna create a tight seal against the comfort liner and EPS, but it gets slowed down. Those channels help that air move through, and then the high speed air creates a bit of a vacuum behind, and then air is helped out through what we call the Venturi effect, which is the same principle that creates lift on an airplay wing. You have a curved surface, high speed air, you get a vacuum behind it, and you get further air conditioning as that air gets sucked away. So remember, you have the Lunatic Fringe, which is really speed and strength's foray into a more aggressive design. And there's going to be other aggressive, more street graphically oriented um, designs from speed and strength. And then you have the Helen Back, which is tried and true dual sport adventure enduro, which is a more muted color scheme, which also has that high vis option available. Let us know what you think about this offering from speed and strength. This 20x, uh, the speed and strength SS 2500 dual sport enduro hybrid helmet available at revzilla.com. I want to see your comments or your reviews on the product page or on our YouTube panel where you, you can always join the discussion. Click here, subscribe to us on YouTube. We're constantly rolling out new gear reviews every week at revzilla.com. And if you want to talk with a geek and help compare and contrast some of the features of the Speed and Strength 2500 versus any of the other Speed and Strength models in the line or against any of the other you know, mid-range, and I, I'll call it mid-range, it's a mid-range, but honestly, the price point is rock solid on this guy. Uh, other dual sport helmets, we're happy to walk you through that too. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, it's over $39. Bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us, and you can always earn TeamZilla cash on any order over 100 bucks to allow you to save some money on your next order. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the Speed & Strength SS2500 Enduro-style hybrid helmet available at RevZilla.com slash Speed & Strength. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.